OpenTelemetry is an open source project hosted by the CNCF that provides a standard way to generate telemetry data. It was created by the merger of Open Tracing, a standard for generating trace data, and Open Census, which was a standard for generating metrics data. You as an engineer then can be confident that you only have to instrument your services once, you're not locked in, and you have multiple choices, whether it's LightStep or other vendors, for analyzing or processing that data at scale. Furthermore, developers of frameworks and libraries that we all use today now have a standard way to bake telemetry data into those libraries and frameworks, which can then give the end users a lot of out-of-the-box insights into what those frameworks are doing under the hood. Awesome. So that all sounds great, but what is it really? Let's peel back the layers a bit. First, you have the specification itself. This provides the non-language specific implementation details or contracts that everybody then who decides to implement this adheres to. Then you have the language specific SDKs and APIs, which are basically implementations that conform to the specification itself. The actual specific implementation details will vary language by language as to each language and environment kind of has its own nuance to it. When you're sending a lot of data across the wire, there is a lot to consider. What if I want to send this data to multiple sources? How do I buffer and deal with throughput? Do I do that at the application or service boundary itself, or do I offload this to a different entity? Luckily, OpenTelemetry has thought about all these things and has solutions to each of those questions. First and foremost, OpenTelemetry is actually flexible in that it handles multiple context propagation formats. This just means that even though there is a standard, there is still the option of choice within that standard. So if you're using something like the W3C trace context format, or if you want to use B3 propagation, these are basically different standards within the standard that allow your services to connect the dots, if you will. There also comes a question of where do we want to send our data? Maybe I want to send it to something open source and simple like Jaeger. Maybe I want to send it to Jaeger and then some other vendor like Lightstep, which actually provides some really awesome analysis on top of that data outside of just searching through it. We can do that all very easily by using exporters. Exporters basically provide a mechanism for sending your data to your backend of choice. You can utilize multiple exporters at once, and many backends support using the OTLP format itself, like LightStep. That is, there is no exporter to send your data to LightStep. Just by using the out-of-the-box open source libraries, you can then point your data to ingest.lightstep.com, and you immediately will have aggregate trace analysis for your system. Now, there is another component that is very important, and that is the OpenTelemetry collector. What you can do at scale is, from your service itself, send your data to the collector, and then the service only has to know about the collector, and the OCL collector is then responsible for dealing with throughput, scaling, sending the data to multiple backends, and anything else that you might want to do in transit with your data, like append metadata, remove metadata, add credentials, things like that. You don't necessarily need to use the collector, but it is something worth running and is very simple to set up. And there are plenty of examples in the OpenTelemetry repository itself. So we've talked a lot about what OpenTelemetry is. Let's talk about what it isn't. OpenTelemetry is not an observability platform. LightStep is an observability platform. OpenTelemetry is just a standard for creating that telemetry data itself. You still need to do something with it. So if there's a spectrum of, let's say, utility, uh, on the, the left side of the diagram, you might have just storing this data in buckets. And then when I want to go find something, I can look through that entire bucket, that entire pool or lake of stuff, whatever you want to call your data, uh, that data river, whatever it is, right? And then if I know what I'm looking for, I can find it. This is very similar to looking up individual transactions when I'm trying to debug. And then on the very right side of that is the ability to correlate and generate insights from all of these data across the different types of data, whether it's traces, metrics, or logs. And that's really where LightStep sits. On this end of the spectrum, we have the ability then for our system or our SaaS platform to bubble up insights and, and really highlight to me as the end user what is actually happening in the state of my distributed system. So no longer am I looking for individual things uh, completely proactively. Instead, I have something that is then directing me towards places that I should look and then ultimately showing me the root cause of changes in the system. Now, the question that you're asking right now is forced. There are so many choices. Which one should I choose? Well, obviously, LightSep is the right answer. Totally unbiased. You can create a free account uh, by clicking on the link down in the description of this video. 
All jokes aside though, uh, I do hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, do not go it alone. We have a ton of expertise in this area. We are always here to help. We love hearing from you. Um, and with that, see you in the next one. Definitely check out our other videos.